Now, ladies and gentlemen, this painting is, of course, a warning. It is, it warns of the boring and the desperately pointless life of the heterosexual. It really does. You will notice that they live an empty-eyed existence in a bland suburban house with terrible shoes that strangely match an equally bad carpet. I mean, carpet. Really, ladies and gentlemen. And yet, these are the people who are there. Oh, so boring. I could almost, oh, I have to suppress a bit of a dry wretch there. And I hope you're not confronted by that if you are an heterosexual. Oh, that way, that way, if you are an heterosexual, ladies and gentlemen, because I don't discriminate, I just accept and move back five meters. It is <laughs> I really do, I really do. Although I don't understand why you would choose such a boring lifestyle choice when you could choose to be fabulous. I mean, why would you be an accountant with 2.5 children and it's a, two, it's a point five that I really worry about, ladies and gentlemen, when you could be, well, me. And I don't mean to say that, in a narcissistic way, but if it came out that way, good on me, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. But strangely, not only is this a warning about who we may become post-marriage equality, but it's also a bit of a, it's a bit of a threat. This is a hurdle, because you will notice that these are the people we have to appeal to in order to have marriage equality, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> boring, boring, boring. <laughs> But you will notice that there is a look in her eye over here as she's thinking, I want other people to suffer just like I am. <laughs> so, passive-aggressively, this couple have decided to vote yes. 